is all too ready to admit he made a sex tape. Obviously, unbeknownst to him, otherwise he wouldn't have removed his do-rag because his denoted <laughs> dome looks like a circumcised penis. But here's what really amps his aardvark, brother. Heather Clem, the bootylicious babe he was boinking with his bald, belly-busting baby maker. She thinks the tape puts her in a bad light. Said the sex was a private moment, not meant to be shared with anyone. Then what in the holy name of Bruno Sammartino did she tape it for? <laughs> Believe me, brother, the holster has seen enough atrocities in his lifetime as squire of the squared circle to know that the last thing he wants to witness is his pale and pallid pink posterior pumping like a puny porcupine on a parsnip. The holster got Alan funded, brother. And what's worse, the tape makes him look bad because he wasn't the most courteous of Casanovas. He actually checked his cell phone while she was performing the prelude to the pile grabbing. Nothing throws sand in the Vaseline more than a guy who texts during foreplay, brother. But here's the worst part of the embarrassing Abrolio. She's the ex-wife of the holster's best friend, Bubba the Love Sponge. And who, may or may not have, actually set up the scenario. I was best man at their wedding, brother. But obviously, he's a better man than I. Because greater a love hath no man than to lay down his lady to be laid by another man. <laughs> Smile, because you're on creepy candid camera, brother. It is uh, 17 FDR here on the uh, live in the morning program. Well, why would Bubba the Love Sponge uh, set this up? For what reason? It's twisted and kinky, brother. Some people enjoy that. Uh, the old no cuckold yeah. thing. You know what it's like? Yeah, right. Maybe the rest of this tag team, I guess, is what it's called. <laughs> All right, time for sports. Never that is one to one. Good morning, guy, man. Money.